You eyed the man. You kind of felt sorry for Cove. Did other kids really get their parents to pay for friendship? Hello, I'm Gryffindor Elijah Fritz, and today, as you can see, still wearing the same shirt that says Stay Furious, I'm playing Our Life Beginning and Always. My name in here, his name is, is Elijah Fritz, still going by my Harry Potter OC name and my other names that you may know me by. Technically, Elijah's full name is Elizabeth Rosanna Fritz. So, today, we are playing Our Life, Beginning and Always. Uh, part 1 is already out on YouTube. I have part 2 and 3 ready to go, and this is currently part 4. So, as you can see, I am playing as a quiet, timid girl. So, let's keep going. I eyed the man. As you can see in part 1, choice is just matters of how you want to play the character, how you want to build the character. It's all been explained in part 1, so let's leave it as that. If you have not seen part 1, go watch it. Now, please, in the name of Aphrodite. So, we eyed the man. What could be so bad about this cove kid that his dad would need to bribe strangers to be friends with him? What do you say? Want to make a deal? I don't take the money. I have never taken the money. i never seen the outcome of actually taking the money. I have never seen the full playthrough of me running away. So let's go run away. You spun around and made a break for it. Danger, danger! No thanks, old man! You didn't offer any explanation, you just focus on running away. We'll go with this one. You turn on the spot and bolted down the street, ignoring his car from behind you. Hey! Come back! I'm sorry if I scared you! I don't I, I didn't know how else to talk uh, to ask! The, uh, the soles of your shoes slipped against the co uh, concrete sidewalk as you ran. Heat uh, heat from the sun uh, warm on your face. Eventually, his shouting fade into the distance. You let yourself slow down and try to catch your breath, wiping the sweat from your forehead with the uh, back of your hand. The chirping of uh, crickets in the tri uh, tall, dry grass echoed around you, and you lifted your head to survey your surroundings. You run right into the hills behind your house backyard. From here, you could probably get back inside without seeing the guy again. There was a loose uh, plank on the back fence, too small to fit through, but you could try to wave, uh, wave to Lizzie for help. The fence was pretty high, but if you still don't... Uh... Lee, you're going to make it known to the parents in my video. What is going on? Did the video get paused again? There, it should be back on. There, it should be back on. Yeah, Lee made an appearance again. Damn it, Lee. Okay. The fence was pretty high up, uh, pretty high, but if you stood on the neighbor's uh, shoulder fence post first, you might be able to pull yourself over. You'd be able to hide here until uh, he left. Then you go through the front door. We're doing this one. Your moms wouldn't want you doing something like that, but it was an emergency. You took in a deep breath, you wanted to relax and couldn't. You weren't sure what, but something told you that you weren't alone, so you glanced around. At least the lagging fixed itself. Look at this beautiful boy! Beautiful boy! 
Yes, and now you get to see all my fanciness. All the people I've ever played. Melody Coffin got updated because, you know, game updated. Melody Jackson needs to be updated too. Kiwa Lee needs to be updated. Lens Quinn Lee needs to get redone and fixed. And then the original Elijah Fritz and Kiwa Lee, the first one I actually finished and uh, completed the whole entire game with updates, DLCs, and everything. Yes, we are almost safe on that, Elijah. There was a boy sitting at the top of one hill, almost completely hidden within the long grass and white flowers surrounding him. His head was buried in his knees, staring ahead by himself. For whatever reason, Paula just uh, that he wasn't paying attention. He hadn't noticed you yet. You watched him a minute longer, feeling a little bit like you, uh, like you found a deer in the wild. Though, deers didn't have... I normally go with the sad frown, but let's pick on his cast. Let's wait up for this to update with me. Come on. But this new boy did. You will know how he got it. After a few more seconds, he took a step forward, then another. And then he glanced your way. His aquamarine eyes reflected the light of the moon. You stopped, raised a, uh, raising a hand to acknowledge him and show you won't scare. Hi! Hey! Uh, hey, Space Cadet! Are you lost? <laughs> hey, space again, uh, cadet. We can keep pushing again. With a start, uh, with, uh, with a start, he jumped to his feet, his hand balling into a fist as uh, at his side. He didn't say anything, just stared at you in a strange way. He'd been crying. There were traces of tears on his cheeks and his knees, soaking uh, the, the hems of his shorts, and his eyes were still uh, shining with a few more. You obviously caught him off guard. He was your age, but he didn't look familiar. Maybe he was the boy that your new neighbor had been talking about before you ran. The only way to actually know was to ask. Who are you? I've never seen you. What's your name anyways? You waited for him to say something. He sniffed a little, rubbing at his uh, ruddy cheek before he finally spoke. My name is Cove. You could see him hesitating, shifting his eyes to the side and then back to you again. My dad and me, we moved here. Your guess was confirmed. So, is this your heel? He uh, gestured with his uninjured arm to the patch of grass surrounding you, his face falling at the prospect. I can leave if it is. Let's wait for the for you guys to get job. Okay. Yep. You can't own a heel. You shook your head. Yes. This is no, this is shook. So, I shook. While doing so, you also picked, uh, picked out a strand of lint on your leg. What a real question to ask someone. Oh. He sat back down with a thump, resting his chin on his uh, knees again. 
curious about the strange new voyage with the odd dad, you sat on the patch of grass next to him. The pure white flowers that cover the hills walked back and forth gently as the stars twinkled above. The, uh, the way that they dotted the uh, sky made them seem like flowers, too. The night was yet, uh, was uh, was cool as it was traveled uh, traveled over the ocean and up the hills, chasing away the heat from the afternoon sun. Why are you here? Why do your family move? Why are you here? I quite hiccup escape uh, cove as, as soon as you asked the question. 